Yo, what's up, guys? You already know it's happened. 88 rated Mickey Tarian was released as a cam. The rumors were floating around on Twitter yesterday. I even posted out it wasn't an official league, but it was pretty damn close. So I'm happy with that. But this card, right, we can now bring him into the road to glory and legitimately play him as a striker. Last weekend, I was moving him up to striker to see how well he could do, and his finishing is seriously reliable. I don't know why he plays so good in that position, but yeah, I'm looking to bring him into the road to glory. That's whether or not this card right here is an improvement on his second in the form. If it's not, then it's gonna be a waste of coins. So drop a like, guys. We're gonna find out today. If you need any game codes or anything game related, head over to G2A.com, use the code Fuji for cash back, and let's go. So I did fancy a formation change, 4-3-3, number four, that also allowed me to play Miki Tarian in his natural position, which is a cam. So most of you guys that may be interested in making the purchase, you're gonna want him reviewed in that cam position. So half of the games I played him there, then I switched up to the 4-1-2-1-2 and sort what he could do really in that striker position and that's where I play him as a right striker and the chemistry between these players especially Sanchez was unbelievable but taking a look at Mikic Tarian in full detail 659,000 coins which is very expensive and please be aware that these man of the match cars are going to be in packs throughout the week so the last day I could see his price hitting as low as 400 450,000 which wouldn't be so bad eight games four goals five assists he was doing a good job in a cam position but he wasn't really scoring that many goals when I moved him as a striker oh my goodness me having him as an advanced playmaker is just brilliant his passing the range of passing just look at these stats what a card five star weak foot four star skill moves high tie work rate we're going to talk about him in a second moving up to the striker position it is another man of the match. Lucas Perez, 57,500 coins, eight games, three goals, three assists. And me being honest, he was okay. I wouldn't I wouldn't ever make the purchase ever again. His pace wasn't really much of an issue. He was pretty quick when he was running through on goal. His dribbling was okay. It didn't let him down. He didn't feel sluggish whatsoever. He was more or less acting as a playmaker and then now and again getting himself into pretty good uh, positions. But 86 shot, like he had a decent strike on him. So maybe you guys would be interested in making that purchase and he's cheap and he's going to be even cheaper in the next couple of days. Another inform that I brought in, which was a Tolisso, 90,000. Once the weekly rewards are released, on Thursday at 6 p.m. I can see this guy dropping to 50, 55,000, and that's a fantastic buy, really. His pace is around the mark where you can just hit on a chemistry style and bring that up to high 80s, maybe even like 88 acceleration, uh, maybe even 90, I don't know. What, what will the Hunter card do? I should have checked that out, but anyway, he's pretty damn quick, and he is in there just to be that workhorse box to box. He has it in his arsenal to score goals, and one of the goals was a long shot. I loved his non-inform, and this inform card is weak in league quality. Perry and I dropped in there. He's on the small side. He's got medium, medium work rates. It was alright, to be honest, but another player that just destroyed it for me, and it is this man right here, Alexis Sanchez. 47,750 coins first time I've used him on the game eight games nine goals four assists even in a left wing position in a strike when I moved him a striker wow like he's had how many informs like three four I can't remember I want to get one of these inform cards in my monthly rewards was it this week uh, this month that he's got an inform. I I'm going to have to find out. But yeah, eight games, nine goals, four assists. He was destroying for me. And he only has an 82 shot. Well, I did apply the Hunter Kim style. So that probably helped him out. But another player that I brought in, which was the upgraded Ander Herrera. The notable difference there, which is his dribbling. He feels very nice on the ball. But as you can see, the full team, it's got a solid foundation in the defense. The midfield, very well balanced. You've got two centimeters that can tackle. Obviously, Mkhitaryan is going to run the show in that position. And then the attack has nice pace on the wings and a pretty reliable striker so the custom tactics that I was actually using I had to switch these up for whatever reason maybe it was the team that I was using or the formation I just felt that my players just didn't take it upon themselves to win back the ball as quickly as I was needing so I brought out my pressure to 60 my aggression to 55 and I had to bring down my chance creation for whatever reason my players are making the runs too quickly and I couldn't keep up with the play so I brought that down to 65 and these tactics were working really well not only in the fourth 3 3 but the 4 1 2 1 2. So let's get into the clips, guys. I'll let you guys know if uh, Mikitarian is worth the extra coins, and I'll speak about all of these players. Drop a like and let's go. So we're going to get straight into it.
into it. Is Mickey Tardian worth 659,000 coins? No. When I sold the second inform card, he went for 150 on the Road to Glory account. So if we estimate what he's going to really drop to the day before he gets taken out of packs, would we say 400, 450? So really, say 150,000, double that. 300,000 or even 350. Is he worth that amount of coins? When you take into consideration that position change, that is seriously important. Now I can play him as a striker and cap off chemistry with the likes of Paul Pogba, use a legend in a right wing position, it's pretty damn easy. So I've got Mkhitaryan in my preferred position on full chem. So for me, that's worth it. But if you're someone that's gonna play him in a cam position, 350,000 coins is a lot, but this is my personal opinion. He is the best cam in the Premier League, no doubt about that. I'm a fan of Roberto Firmino with his upgrade card, it's really nice. I'm a fan of Christian Eriksen, but with Mickey Tardian, he just brings something different to the game. I don't know what it is about his shot, but it is seriously reliable. With the second informed card, if you watched the Road to Glory episode where I did show you the last 10 games, my highlights, that was my best ever start, and then it finished off uh, exactly the same like I usually do, which was kind of upsetting, but during the whole weekend league, Mkhitaryan was scoring loads and loads of goals for me. He was outperforming Ronaldo, but then again, I was subbing Ronaldo on, so he was off the bench on 6 chem. So Mkhitaryan, his second in form, was always able to score goals, and I didn't notice much of a difference between the two cards at all. Whenever I had chances with this team, he was he was scoring goals for me. His finesse shot felt exactly the same, but I, I didn't really need his shot to be increased. I was really more interested in maybe a bit of pace that was upgraded, a bit of dribbling, and that's what I, I felt. Like his pace is good now with the Hawk chemistry style. It's going to be smacking that up to like high 90s. His dribbling feels a little bit sharper. I didn't notice his physical stats to be any better, like holding off players and running through on goal. He's just a really, really good player. And like I mentioned, he is the best cam for me in the Premier League with that five star week with the four star skills, seriously agile on the ball. And he just brings something different. And I don't know what it is. He just. I just feel so confident with Mickey Tardian outside the box taking shots, inside the box, he's dribbling. He is a beautiful player on this game. So I would recommend when he drops the 400,000 coins, buy him, see if you can get on with the card. He is without doubt weekend league quality. He's, he's a great player, the best cam in the Premier League for me. The rest of the players that I tried out, obviously Lucas Prez, I wouldn't really recommend like rushing out to go and purchase him, but if you're looking for that sort of player that can hold on to possession, he acts as another playmaker up top with that 80 passing, his finishing is, is pretty decent, so... I mean, if he drops to 30,000, it would be a good purchase. Tilliso, though, no doubt he's going to go to like 55, 60K, and that's going to be a really good buy. He's great. And with that added increase to his shots, his dribbling, his passing, his defending, like the whole card, it's just one of those box to box beasts. And the team itself is playing really well, not only in the 4 3 3 formation, but the 4 1 2 1 2. And Sanchez in this team. I really now want to bring him into the Road to Glory account. I may even just build two weekly teams, one which is the strict Premier League with Mikel Katarian, and then another team I can drop in some like legends. I don't know what I'm going to do, but with some of these players that I've been using recently, it's just opened up my eyes to just different teams that I can create. So I'm looking forward to it. So anyway, guys, I hope the video is helpful. Mikel Katarian, he's a beast. Make sure to try him at least once and see what you think because, like I said, he is the best cam in the Premier League. Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. Drop a like on the video, and I will see you soon. Team out. Peace.